How y'all doing, people? How y'all doing, people? How y'all doing? Come on in. I'm, um, let's see. I'm just, I'm just checking out a few comments. What's up, I, what's up, Brother Hot? Tyrone Thomas, how you doing, soldier? Listen, I met Misha's on behalf of Sister Kellen Ruff. I gave her my word I was going to stop by here. I've been by here before with Sister Carolyn, and um, I just wanted to investigate first just to see how we need to set up before we actually um, shut this place down. I need to see for myself uh, what that looks like. Can y'all hear me good? Am I, am I coming in clear? Can y'all can y'all hear me, Luba? That's it from LA. But yeah, I'm here on uh, behalf of Karen, Sister Carolyn. I told her I would, so I'm just keeping my word to her that I was gonna come by here. Um, although we still, yeah, I, my goal is I got a few meetings. My goal is to come to the nail shop as well today up there. But uh, I got a few meetings as it relates to uh, trying to figure out the next move after we're done shedding color nails down. So um, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, Ken, how y'all feel, people? So I'm, I'm about to go in here and see what's going on, why this place hasn't been shut down. I'm understanding it's under new management. And... um. As far as I'm concerned, it's the same management, and it's their cousin. So if, if the management don't look like us, then the alderman, um, I think it's uh, so Sophia, is, is doing this, this area of disservice. Sister's been out here fighting for a long time for respect in this area. So I'm going to go see what the owner has to say. Try to keep the camera up off of him because I don't want him crying foul. But I got to do some investigation. Got a couple people out here. How you doing? Got a couple of my guys over here. But uh, let's see. I want to know who the owner. How you doing, man? Who the manager here? Manager? Yes. Uh, well, is help you? Your manager? Oh, I don't have the camera on. I don't have the camera on you, but yeah. I, so this is the deal. Uh -huh. We have a sister. Uh -huh. Um I just want them the people to know what we had. This is this is the uh this still called Misha. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is still called Misha Beauty Supply? Yes. I thought it was on the new management. So why you keep it? Why is it still called Misha? Because we're going through that uh, process right now. So sooner or later, you will see all the name will be changed and everything. So uh, how did you all come by taking over management? How? Yes. What do you mean how? Okay, um, it was another Misha was here operating. Uh -huh. But you taking over mm -hmm. when Misha left off. Right? Yeah, that's what the most of business do. That's what most of the business do? Yeah, that's how they, if you buy current business, that's how you guys So you keep it the name Misha? No, we don't. Is that, are you affiliated with Misha? That's your brother, cousin, no. cousin no. sister, family member? No. Are you, do you understand the concerns of this community and what was going on in Misha? Yes, I do understand, but it's it's on his own side. It, nothing has to do with us. What you talking about? It's on Misha's side? The whatever the previous owner. But you still got the same name as the previous yeah. owner. So, I know. Um, so the appearance is that. No, everything. It changed uh, ownership. Yes. It it changed ownership. Yes. So have you talked to the community about changing ownership? Community. This community. No. Have you had the conversation? You talked to the alderman. Who you talked to? Nope. I mean, you just bought the business, and mm -hmm. but, 
But I'm saying there was some issues and problems with this store before. Mm -hmm. And in order for um, the community, mm -hmm. I would think you would as a business. Where are you from? I'm, I'm ECCSC. I'm Tyrone Muhammad. I represent the community. Let me give you a card. Okay. So are you familiar with Carolyn Ruff? Hello. Kellen, that lady that's always out here protesting. I, I've seen her once. Do, did you? Did she tell you why she was pro? Did you even think to ask her why she protesting? No, I know, I know, I know what what is the issue that she's protesting. I do know about it. Right. And that's it. Really, nothing has to do with me in personal. Right, right. Or, but that's why that's yes, why I'm asking. And, and I thank you we, a lot. I, I mean, you. I thank for you. Thankful you talking to me. Yes, and I don't think it's because we we did about the, this business and, and we did not do anything to. Uh, with customers or whatever happened to previous uh, owner that he had a store back there, that's on his problem. It's not us. No, but we understand that. But <clears throat> you, you just confide. You just uh -huh. told me that you still it's still Misha. Yes, it takes time to change all the documents and stuff. So sooner or later, you will see all the name will be changed. Well, this is the thing. Uh -huh. I talked to the alderman uh -huh. long before you all probably. Uh -huh purchased this store, uh -huh. it was understood that uh -huh. she was going to bring the community uh -huh. uh, to bear around the uh -huh. issues because uh -huh. if I go open up a community, a store in your community, I have to have yeah, the what? alderman, yeah, I, was, I, was, I have to have okay, then permission. Okay, I'm going to talk to the city and I'm going to talk to the alderman. The, the, the alderman. I, I don't know, I have to find out well, and then we can talk, we can, yeah. I will give you a call. Yeah, give me a call. Mm -hmm. You have a card. What's your yeah. name? Julie. Julie, can yeah. you give me a number and I can reach out to you? Uh, you have your, sir, your phone number here, right? I don't have to give out my cell phone number. I just gave you my card. Yeah, That's my cell phone. phone. Yeah, I can give it a store number. And you say you Julie? Yes. And you can reach me there and I will talk to the elderman. If you, if that's a community if well, that's the issue, then yeah. I will talk to the city. That's and the then, issue. Yes, I mean I Because will talk. we we feel that mm -hmm. just like Misha, mm -hmm. most businesses that open up in our community mm -hmm. hasn't talked to the community, hasn't provided any real community benefit. As a result of being in the community, because we provide resources, you provide a service. I, I took, okay, I'll you, talk to the I'm, I'm, I'm just want to say to you, yes. I'm speaking for my community. Mm -hmm. You provide a service, mm -hmm. and we bring our, 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 our resources into this store. Mm -hmm. So we would at least like to know mm -hmm. how do a store like this mm -hmm. benefit our community as a whole? where the community is interested in ownership mm -hmm. and development of the community, the violence, the, mm -hmm. the, the poverty, and everything that goes around in this community, mm -hmm. we, are, we haven't yet to see mm -hmm. how businesses mm -hmm. give back mm -hmm. to affect change in those communities that they serve. Yeah. So this is what is serious to us, Julie. Yeah. And I expect to uh, hear shit from you and on um, because this is not going away. Mm -hmm. And I'm here today representing Carolyn Ruff mm -hmm. and the community. Yes. Um, Although, and, see, yeah. and that's the thing okay. about opening up in a put in a place yeah, totally where there was a understand. previous a previous owner who had violated. Yeah, I I we don't have a nothing relationship with I, him. I can guarantee it, it, that. It, it, and I'm sure that yeah. with the change, no, see, that we are that's here. your issue. I'm yeah. rep no, that ain't just what I said. I said community too. I didn't just say Kelly. I didn't just okay. say Kelly. Okay. It's okay. If you're recording, I don't care. No, I want to. I don't care. I, I, yeah, if you, right. I don't care. But I, like I said, I'm gonna talk to the city. I'm gonna talk to the urban elderman. Yes. And I'm gonna talk to a lawyer. I'm gonna find out right. everything. Well, you get a lawyer. You know. Get your okay. lawyer. Get a lawyer. My yes. number. Yes. Get a city okay. my number yes. and get an alderman my number. Okay. She know and me. Then, she yeah, know me. And then we can after that we can discuss. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Take care.
So, as y'all see, this is what goes on. You have Negroes speaking. You have Negroes speaking for. Uh, you have Negroes speaking for owners. They always have a Negro. See, he has a problem with Carolyn Ruff. This Negro has a problem with Carolyn Ruff. But they're gonna learn today that speaking for speaking for outsiders of our community is not gonna be good for you. It doesn't matter if it's the nail shop. It's the Arab corner store. It's a black corner store that disrespect black women or any of them. It doesn't matter. We gonna hold these individuals across the country accountable. I gave her my word. I would go in there and investigate and check it out. But as we know, listen, how you, this is still called Misha Beauty Salon. And it's still an Asian. It's still ran by an Asian. Y'all see that? This is four. 4642, I guess this, I guess this East 47. But um, it's still Misha. She says she took over. It take process, it take time, but it's still Misha. So we have to, man, stand for something or fall for everything. See, everybody, listen, it changed owners. She say it changed owners, but yet, in changing owners, she didn't even have to consult with the community. See, that's the problem with this city, people. That's the problem with this city. These people come in our neighborhoods, take ownership, and they don't have to consult with us. Because you know why? We demand nothing of no one. We demand nothing of no one. We give our um, our money to people, and we demand nothing of no one. So they come here, they set up shop, they take our money out of our communities. They take our money out of our communities, and they give nothing back. They are not even held accountable for any community benefit that that entails. And this, my friend, is it, 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 it's, it's really like... Uh, 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 a dead people allowing everybody to eat off of their carcass. Their carcass. We are dead people. We allow everyone to eat up off our dead flesh. And we get nothing, we get nothing in return. So I, I'm just so thankful that I'm woke. I'm so thankful that I'm woke. And I told sister I got her back. I was gonna, I'm gonna keep my word. I've already been over here before. I told her I had her back. So all I'm saying is it's time to start. We're going to get this. We're going to bring this one under wraps. We're going to bring this one under control. That's as we have the other ones. So um, at the end of the day, we have to have ownership in our community. There has to be a real community benefit from any of these businesses that any business that's set up in our community without talking to the community. After violating the community, we have to change. We have to change that narrative. We will change that narrative and, and, and continue to disrespect that. She got the mayor's number. She gonna talk to the city. She gonna talk to the aldermen. These people don't control us. Politicians don't control us, people. They don't own us. We have to, we got to let the people know that we're not owned by politicians. We're not owned by businesses. See, this is dangerous work. This is dangerous work. And as long as, look, they looking at my car. Y'all see them? They must don't know. I don't run or hide. They must don't know it. See, and yet, and, and no longer will we sit here and allow Miss Carolyn Ruff to stand by herself out here. Listen, in our face, they have changed ownership, people, and the ownership looked like the previous ownership. How that happen? How you change ownership, say it's different, but keep the name Misha. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. So we continue to stand up, they continue to disrespect our women going to these businesses. And 
And until we let them know, let them know, we demanding from all the men, we demanding from we, uh, 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 all all the elected officials, so-called black leaders in churches, to stand with us as we as we bring the bell and we bring pressure on these businesses throughout our our community. I'm no longer going to sit back and watch our sons and watch our sons killed and watch our sons destroyed as a result of every and watch our sons destroyed so they taking the sign off the Misha sign. You see, they taking the Misha sign down before look. See, they want to take the Misha sign down. Come on. Uh, uh, before they, before uh, it brings too much attention. That's what I'm saying. Transparency is everything. You want to sit here and operate and then act like, man, y'all got the audacity to say something to me about my business. But yet we continue to pump funds into these establishments and we don't require them to do nothing for the surrounding community. We kill each other all around this particular place. We, we, we murder, rob, rape, do all type of pillaging of each other. Then you have these businesses that pillage and rob us and take it out of our community and never put anything back. At some point, we gotta wake up. At some point, we're gonna be forced to wake up, keep getting kicked in the ass. Trying to take the sign down. Well, you're going to make till I come? Carolyn been over here a hundred times. They didn't take the sign down. Are we going to make them take it down? Take it down. See? That's what I'm saying. On all the fronts, on every front, we're going to hold them accountable. We're fighting over here. We're fighting over there. And I'll be back over there. I got a couple meetings. And I'm going back over to the uh, nail salon. But I've been talking to corporate on that level. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we got to fight all the way through. We got to fight all the way through. This is sad. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to help. We're going to help this sister. Y'all sisters, come on out. When Sister Carolyn called us, come on out and stand with her. We're going to make this known and... The last time I talked to the alderman, let me just say this. The last time I talked to the alderman, she told me to find someone who will replace or who can replace uh, these business owners. So I have somebody that's going to supply us with all the beauty supply and hair we need. We got, we got people who are going to teach us the business, supply us with the beauty products, and we're going to take over these businesses, and we're going to make them a co-op. We're going to co-op these businesses where 30% to 40% of the revenue that's made, that's generated from these businesses, go back to, that's generated from these businesses, go back into the surrounding communities. That's, that's real progress. That's real. Look at this. Misha Beauty. Still Misha. 30%. 30% to 40% of the profits go back into servicing the, the community around it re, for training, um, development, and, and the likes. 30% goes back. So we come together as a co-op and we take over these businesses in our neighborhoods and we, we provide a service, not just a good. We sell the goods and then we bring in the revenue, then we provide a service. We could train women, we could train women and children on business. We could build new businesses and we could develop buildings and property and land. Everyone is a, is, has ownership of our land but us. 
This is a new day. Take back the community. Take back the earth. Because the earth belongs to the righteous anyway. Take back the community. Take back the earth. See, truth don't need support. Truth don't need support. Truth don't need a bunch of people. Truth need truth. Truth only need God and truth need a blessing. That's what it's about. Getting it out. Look, they taking the sign down. Let me show you. At least he's taking that down, Misha. You turning around to the camera. You turn around. I ain't got the camera looking at you. I'm out here in my neighborhood. I got a right. You turning around. You, I'm not. I can show Misha. I can show you tearing Misha sign down. I'm not, I'm you turning, what you looking at me for? I don't have the camera pointing at your face. You making it known. But I do want them to see that Misha sign is still up. Should have did that when you bought it. They don't ain't take no time, nothing. That don't take no time, nothing. Who you told that to? You do what you want and it take you time to get it. There you go, good job. There's another sign on the other side. See, they not used to dealing, they not used to dealing with men. You gonna disrespect Carolyn, but you got a man out here and, and I, 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 you ain't gonna disrespect me. They, they think because they have a black man working with them that it changes the narrative. No. It works for you. You don't work for the community. See, look what it takes. Just a little, just a little urging man and pushing brings these people to order that's don't happen all throughout the country they might well get used to it because i'm not playing see people talk all they want to i'm about action make no mistake about it see Nah, he can't give me nothing. Hey, little homie, he can't give me nothing. 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 All he can give me, all he can give me out my out the neighborhood. He can't give me nothing. He can't give me nothing. Take, you want to take a picture of me? Hey, I thought you didn't want to be on camera. Why you got the camera? I thought you didn't want to be on camera. You, 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 you no, I didn't. I record you. I didn't record your face. I didn't record your face. No, I didn't. Nine, you recorded. What's your name? Uh, Julie, right? That's Julie. Thank Julie. See. 
truth needs no support. Sit back in your fucking couches. Sit back in your perches. Sit back in the block. Sit back on whatever you're doing. Go keep working and slaving and feeding in this rat race while our sons and daughters killing each other while these people taking millions up out of our neighborhoods. Keep doing that. Keep thinking I'm them guys, that I'm this so I'm on activism. I'm an advocate. I'm a servant. I'm far from that. Too many people call themselves activists. I'm on another level. This is they ain't, I'm on a level these people never seen. So, and when you get to that point, you're gonna have haters, disrespectors, all types of people. But all you need is the support and the love of God. I'm just telling you, because God, they ain't seen nothing yet. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we gonna win in all these fronts. Just keep watching. Sister Kelly, we got you back over here. I told you I would, I'm a man of my word. I mean what I say. You ask me to come. I'm here. So at the end of the day, we're going to win. We're going to overcome this. We're going to overcome this place because I'm so sick of this, man. I'm so sick of this. They set up business in our communities, and we don't know nothing about it. They set up businesses in our community. We know nothing about it. You the owner? No. Who the owner? I don't know. What you do? Huh? What you do? What you do? What you do in here? You work here? No. What you dropping supplies off? No. Okay. So this is what it is, people. I, I'm done with this spot. I'm gonna still be here for a while. But I'm, I'm, I'm killing the lie. I'm going to sit around and analyze and watch these individuals squirm, squirm like uh, worms and roaches. Because that's what they are. They're worms and they're roaches. They come in our neighborhoods. They suck, the, they suck us dry. They suck us dry and then give no benefit back to the community that they suck dry. No health, no nothing. They don't give nothing in return for the resources we put and enrich them as a people. We keep enriching them people and we get nothing in return. We some goddamn fools. And then when you stand with black women, they got the nerve to say something to a man. Not no boys. They say something to men. Find some business. If you ain't going to help us save you, shut up and, and, and fall back. Because this is war. If y'all don't believe it, keep on. You'll see. Don't believe it. Keep on. If you don't think this war where our sons and our, our boys are getting killed and placed in prisons, the only thing they have for our sons is prison and the graveyard. They don't have businesses for us to open up, no training for us. They don't have construction jobs. They don't have manufacturing jobs. They don't have enough jobs to serve you. They don't even have enough jobs to serve their own. How are they going to help you and help and help themselves. Man, somebody gonna be left out and, and too often it's us. Peace.